Number one, your du'as might not be answered by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of your sins. As we know, one of the things that causes our du'as to not be accepted by Allah, not be answered by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, is our sins. Uh, and the example that the Prophet ﷺ gave, mentioned in Sahih Muslim, is an example of a person whose sustenance, their earning, is halal, and that's one of the reasons why their, their du'as are not being answered. Number two, you might be asking for something which is haram, something which is impermissible. So for example, if you're making du'a, uh, for example, to go to Vegas or something to gamble, it may be that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is protecting you from that sin and that's why Allah is not answering your du'a. Number three, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows that what you're asking for is not actually good for you. So you may think that this thing or whatever it is that you're asking for is good for you, but Allah knows that it's not good for you. An example of that would be, let's say you're making du'a to get married to a particular person. You say, oh Allah, please let me marry so-and-so. But Allah knows that you marrying this person is not a good idea and actually be harmful for you and it would cause you a lot of pain and suffering in your life. And for that reason, Allah doesn't answer this du'a. Number four, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has something better in store for you in the akhirah. Meaning it's possible that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't grant you something in this life because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to reward you for it in the akhirah with something which is way better. Number five, it may be that your du'a is not that it's not being answered, it's just that the answer from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is delayed. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may delay answering the dua for a few reasons. For example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows that by making this dua, or by consistently making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you're actually getting closer to Allah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants you to continue to get closer to Allah by continuing to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Also, another reason why your dua may be delayed, it may be because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is testing you. As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us that when Allah loves someone, Allah will test them. So by you going through this pain, this suffering, and you not finding this relief, it may be that this is a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and therefore you are getting closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Until next time, inshaAllah ta'ala, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.